freedom is the highest of all natural law. Freedom to take or spare a life. This is just for kicks. The choice is free. But I am worried about the fact that this particular ghost is red. It might be either faster, deal more panic damage, or not respond to my holy water! Ugh! Get that shit! Alright. Teddy bear, alright. Was that teddy bear covered in blood? Alright, that's more light. Oh, there's ghosts everywhere. Is that an arm coming out of there? It seems to be locked from the other side. Damn. Ugh. Oh, I can hardly bear to look. There's a heart-shaped pendant in its hand. Go cool, grab it! That ghost doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's just there. Is there anything to be looked at? Nope. <sighs> okay. I know there will. Oh, yeah, there is one. Come get some. Come on. <clears throat> Nothing to be messed with there. Uh, no, no, that's not... Hey, where'd it go? Alright. Okay. Maybe I should investigate it outside a bit more. I seem to... Alright. This is officially the coolest place we've been in so far. Between the music, and the rain, and all this blood. This is looking to be an interesting area. That annoying ass, retarded kid is gone. And Alyssa is once again by herself, which means no dude bro co-op. Okay, although I don't know how how much dude bro you can get with two kids like that. What are you doing here? Answer me! <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's going on? Mother, where have you got to? Say something. Mother. Okay, clearly a blind man with issues, which is expected considering the place is trash, bloody, and yeah, I don't know what's going on, but uh, should I go through these double doors? Should I keep going further into this house? Well, it looks like something major is going to go down when I go through those double doors, so let's just continue to inspect the area. Uh oh, more cutscenes. God, what is going on? What is going on? An unseen force is holding it closed. Wow, that, that lady just... Everybody is like totally whacked out of their skull in this area. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Okay, this place is not playing around. Oh, it's just gonna chase me around, huh? It's not limited to an area or what? Oh, let's just get the hell out of here. Alright, alright, alright. This is a heavy duty place right here. This isn't about little girls playing piano. This is about blind people, death, and the supernatural. And some seriously brooding music. There's no more games. It looks like a toolbox. It's locked and will not open. Alright. Everything's locked. Albert's diary. There goes that music again. Alright, Albert. What's troubling you? 13th of November. Percy from the bakery gave me the name of a good op optometrist in London. It's been seven years now since Mum lost... <laughs> there goes Mum again. Seven years now since Mum lost her sight. And though she tries to appear cheerful, it's difficult to watch her grow old. Perhaps the doctor can do something to help her. It will be expensive. I wonder if my savings will be enough. 16th of November. Yesterday, a relative of ours. Name of John... What? Hey, hi. Name of John Hallis something. Came asking if he could stay with us. He was very cordial, but I can't help thinking there is something calculated about him. I said... I said as much as... I said much to Mother who scolded me for judging a book by its cover. I suppose she's right. Blood is thicker than water, as they say. 21st of November. I have been hearing strange noises late at night for the last three days or so. I hear that a team of burglars have been striking homes in the area. I must remember to lock all doors and windows at night. Obviously something happened to those guys. They got into a bleach fight or something. Because their eyesight isn't what it should be. And everybody is really creeped out. First that guy, then that woman. The vase holds a moonflower. Okay. It looks like it's been turned. Turn it? Okay. Turn in which direction? We'll go with the west side. Nothing is happening. Okay. Let's try the east side. Nothing happening once again. Let's try the north side. It's so funny to hear the Resident Evil sound effects to like just to notice wh which ones they used it's hilarious to me all right well there was a bunch of i think there was two doors down there before we came up here that we didn't go into and this looks like it might take us out of here so do i want to go check out those doors or do i want to go down here i don't want that ghost to chase me around it depends on if that ghost is really on my ass i'm just gonna run back up here and go down that secret door Locked the wide open. Let's see if the double doors are the same. Oh shit, something is banging. Okay, go the double doors. Oh, they're locked too. Alright, well, I was in the right place. Hopefully, nothing jumps out at me. My heart feels weak! Ah, this is what I'm talking about! Gosh! I feel so cold right now. So very cold. Alright. promising. I really need to refill my holy water. A ladder goes down. Climb down. You bet your ass I'm a climb. Yeah, dust those thick legs off, girl. Yeah. Oh, something's, something's, uh, shining. Oh, shit! Please be something that I really need. A kitchen key. Awesome. Alright, what else, what else, what else, what else? No, oh, that must be the double doors that were locked. Let's see what this is. Half heart pendant. I'm getting all kind of key items in here. Alright, get your ass out of there! I've unlocked it. Yep, yep. This is gonna take me right to the very front of the area that I first came into. Shoot. Cool. Oh, yes, make all the noise possible, Alyssa. All the noise possible. Come on, straighten the hell out. Damn controls. Yes, kitchen key. Open that shit. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, that thing is chasing me!
That guy got charbroiled. News reporter's memo. At first I thought she was scared about, like, an open book. Then they showed the body. Okay. What? Fa found five? Was that found five? Okay. Found, whatever. Important clue to Rand's murder. We'll go back to house to investigate and gather info. Got a feeling about this. It will be the biggest scoop in Fleet Street. Whatever that is. A newspaper clipping is sandwiched between the pages of the notepad. Serial killer... <coughs> Excuse me. Serial killer... I'm just gonna say hi. Meets Grizzly End. This looks like the person who's going to be chasing us around in this part of the game. 11th May, 1962. West Sussex. John Hay, the serial killer on the run since early last year, has been found dead at a metal plating work... At, at a metal plating works. Hay is held responsible for the cold-blooded murder of several pen, pensioners whom he robbed before placing the bodies in a container of sulfuric acid, thus disposing of the evidence. Ooh, what a sick bastard. The acid used in the crimes was stolen, leading the police to place factories in the area with stocks of sulfuric acid under surveillances under surveillance. The suspect appeared at a plant of a at a plating factory in Horsham in a, and a struggled in, in a struggle ensued. Hay lost his balance and fell from a platform into a vat of acid, ironically meeting the same end as his victims. Alright. Fair enough. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? I still have that creepy ass bear, a corpse that looks like it's been burned by something. Yeah, it looks like it's been char charbroiled. Film has been ripped out of the camera. If I had some film, maybe I could purge the spirits. I have a creepy ass bear. What does that do? No! Oh. Oh, that was close! Alyssa, get it together! Oh shit, I'm back outside. Oh, okay, let's continue to investigate outside then. If I. What was I? What did I need? I needed a. The inside of the car scorched and blackened. A crushed box in the boot. Was it a present being delivered? What? Shit. I'm gonna go refill my holy water. I need to find some film. There's blood all over that wall. Was that red ghost again? Ah! Get the hell off me! It's very dark inside the manhole. <sighs> okay, that thing does come after you. He was just sitting there for the longest. Those ghosts don't do as much damage to the panic meter as the as the well, as the main guys. Jeez. How'd they know I wanted to do that? Mum! Mum? <laughs> Mum had a creepy look on her face. I don't know if you want to chase her down. Alright. This wasn't here before. Dick's desk key? Does this mean we can go back or what? I think so. Let's see. Yep. That's interesting. So we can jump back and forth between I don't I don't know the real world and this twisted ass horror slash flick world with all these murderers. I don't know. I can't see. I feel blind like those two people in that crazy ass house I was just in. All right, Dick. We got a key to your desk. We're gonna unlock some Dick. Come on, come on, Alyssa! Damn it! What's that? Oh, that's the music. The music sounded like somebody tapping on something. The music's pretty, pretty creepy right now. No! no! I don't like that music for this area. It makes it sound like something, something unexpected, something new might happen to me. I don't like it. 
and that kid has vanished. You know, they could actually make, you know, that, the interactions, or just the fact that that kid's around creepy if, like, he just disappears, or he just starts acting weird, or... They could actually do some interesting stuff with them. I'm interested to see what lies ahead. Although I'm pretty sure since he was such comic... Uh-oh. Book of Entities 2. In order to defeat subordinates, the murderer, the murdered soul, which acts as its energy source, must be healed. To instigate the healing process, a sentimental item belonging to that person must be obtained. If and when this item has been found, the rooter, the rooter power is boosted temporarily. The rooter portal square appears, and within is found the sacred weapon necessary to vanquish the subordinate. I have a key item on me. <sighs> I think I think that bear might be of some use in that case. Next energy source must be healed. And investigate the healing process. A sentimental item belonging to that person must be obtained. Maybe that mask that that was in the uh, drawer as well is that sentimental item. Strange mask. Is that all? Yep. Oh! Oh, look at this! An order form from the camera shop. Somebody bought lots of film. Does that mean there's film here somewhere? Okay. I gotcha. Let's put this mask here. It looks like a mask used to hang here. Hang up the strange mask. A lot. Oh shoot! All right, we are surely making progress. It's a big box. It looks like there's some tons of stuff to do in here. We've gotten one of these before, a repellent arrow, but I don't think you can use that during times such as this. Maybe when you're in a final duel with what's been chasing you around. Look at all these pictures. These creepy ass pictures. Look at this. Grandfather, mummy, <laughs> look at these old photos. Anybody ever have any grandparents who like used to have old pictures like that, old black and white pictures of their like their family and stuff? I know my grandma used to, and a lot of them used to scare me. Just because they were black and white, just I don't know, it's creepy. Like at night, they were really scary. Uh, okay, let me check my camera. I got some film. Let me check my computer. It sound like some frames might have started to drop. Audio cut out real quick. Yeah, I dropped 17 frames. <sighs> Damn. Alright. I'm gonna take this film. I'm gonna cut it. And then come right back here. Is that grandfather's writing? Ooh, it's a black the background. The battle the entities are scattered all over Europe. We, the Hamiltons, are also of ruder stock. Of this lineage, I am proud. The ruder blood is passed down to females. My wife, Francesca, was a ruder. In my naive youth, I did not believe any of it. I denied the presence of entities and ruders alike, preferring to believe that it was all just an old wives' tale. But then I found the Book of Entities, and Nancy began to sharpen her ruder powers. I finally opened my eyes to the truth began my research into the subject.